when it comes to the yard art design challenge, um, most people get really, really, and that's almost every student gets really, really confused when it comes to navigating the planes or arranging the planes the way they would like them. So let's look at that really quick, especially at getting planes at an angle. Um, so first we need uh, basically a cylinder to represent our body. So I'm going to go ahead and start a 2D sketch and drop it on a plane. And we'll just make a circle and we'll make this, I don't know, 18 inches in diameter. Why not? So there's our circle. And then we will go from there and we're going to finish the sketch and we'll extrude it. This is all standard stuff. And then we want to extrude it, let's say, I don't know. 36 inches, make it double. So now we have our cylinder. Okay, and most everybody can get that without any trouble. And now we need to go in and start making planes. All right, especially, um, let's go ahead and make the four holes that are going to be our legs. And all, you know, uh, ideally, we would like those four holes to be at an angle. So what we need to do is create a plane that is going to be at an angle. So let's look at our origin. So over here in your browser tree, if you click the little arrow, it will open up the origin and you'll see that you already have set up, okay, uh, several planes and several axes. So we can look and we can see, you know what, let's go home so we see this in isometric. So we have a plane there and there's our YZ plane. We have a plane there, and we have another plane there. We also have uh, a number of axes. So we have an axis here, an axis here, and an axis here. What we need to do to put it at an angle is select a plane and an axis. Okay, because we are going to use, if we go to plane, we are going to go angle to plane around an edge. So we need a plane, and we need an edge. So what we need to do, okay, so we need to pick out which ones we want. I think we're going to use this one because we want it to be on the bottom section. And so we're going to use the XZ plane and then we're going to use the Z axis, okay? Because the plane is where it's going to start and the axis is where it's going to rotate about. So let's go ahead and say plane, angle to plane around an edge. We're going to pick this uh, XZ plane. That's where it starts. And then we need to define where we want to rotate around. And so we're going to go ahead and click that. And you'll see it automatically, and it's kind of confusing, it automatically defaults to 90 degrees. Okay, but let's make something a little bit smaller so we can see how it's going. And you can see, if we look at this from the front view, we have an, a plane that has been angled. And we, if we want more, we could say, you know what, let's make that 12. And then it's going to go a little bit more. But I think 10 is probably a good starting place. We can go back and change it if we like. And you hit check. And then now I have a plane at an angle. Okay. Um, probably, and this is the, another place for students, you could go in here and you could go ahead and put your circles in it and do some extrusions. Um, but really, we probably should start on the outside and cut our way in because that's really how uh, we're going to make this part. Right? We're going to take a drill and drill some holes in it. So that starts on the outside and goes in. It also makes it a little bit easier to figure out how deep we're going. Uh, because now this is just like it's going to go through the center. Okay, So we have a plane. We can do something else to the plane we just created. We are going to offset from a plane. So I'm going to pick this. And then I'm just going to drag it down. I can look at the front view. And make sure that I'm completely all the way out. All right, and that's going to offset the plane. The other thing we can do, if we want to make absolutely sure, right, and this doesn't matter. This, I mean, we could do this, and we could, we could go, uh, drill our holes, and all is all is okay. Uh, we could also use, so we used offset from a plane. We could say, tangent through surface or tangent to surface and parallel to a plane. So I could use this one, and then I could say, you know what, I want. I want this plane, and I want this curve, and, and then it is going to make this exactly tangent to here, but parallel to here. So if I needed to know exactly how deep to go, um, that's you know also what I can do. Um, did it make that? Did I hit okay? Yeah, look at that. Okay. Um, if this is now in your way, 
and we'll leave it there. Um, if this one's now in your way, you can click it and then right click and then right here it says visibility. You can click that off and then it goes hidden. It's still there. It's inside. Uh, it is inside. Where did that go? Interesting. No idea how to get that back right now. It's not important. Um, but normally if you take it and make it turn the visibility off, see it just grays it out and then you can go back here and say visibility and then it will show back up. Okay. Um, then all we need to do is we'll just need to go ahead and do a cut extrude. So we're going to do it on this. Go ahead and do this on this, uh, on this plane and it's really looking from the wrong direction for me, but we can, we can draw that. Go ahead and draw this, this circle in, draw this circle in, draw this circle in. Hey, I can't see that. So I can, I can go here. I can look at the bottom. It's going to be a slightly at an angle, but this is really kind of what I need because I want to look at, right? Where am I going to be? Right? I want to see it at that angle because I want to see flat. How far out am I going to be? So I'm just going to go to under the bottom. And then I'm going to say, you know what, I want these two to be equal to one another because we want those to be the same size. And then I'm going to give it a dimension and we'll say, you know, ooh, that five inches is way too much. Let's say three inches. Why not? And then we can add a line between the two. Go ahead and make that a hidden line. Make the line vertical. And then we start, we start applying our... Um, constraints to it. And you know what? I'll say I want this to come in. We're going to say five inches, and that would be this one. And then I want to come in five inches here, and that is that one. And then we need to say how far over do we need to be? Well, we would uh, we would like to be. Uh, what do we want to do? So let's make let's put a center line in here, so we have a nice center line. We can make that construction as well. Right click construction. And then we can say dimension from here to here, and we want that to be five inches. Why not? All right, just keep it five inches all the way around. If we don't like it, we can go back and change it. If we don't like the way it looks, uh, hit the finish sketch. And then, so you can see, we're going to be cutting this at an angle in the, up into the body. Right? So we're going to be cutting at an angle. So if I do extrude here, and I can pick this, I want this circle and this circle. And I want to be cut, and I'm currently going the wrong way. So let's flip it back, and then let's not go 36 inches. Let's go five because we've been using five the whole time. And we can look at this from this angle and say, mm, you know what? That's not that's not too terrible. Um, and so we can hit OK, and then you can see I now have two holes there on the side. And I'm gonna go ahead and make this work plane not visible. So I'll right click click on visibility and it goes away now some of you will be like well mr. D I need four holes okay so if I'd have done four holes that all been at that angle right so if I go in here and into view and let's look at the visual style with some hidden lines well we'll do the wireframe uh, we could do shaded with hidden edges you can see um, that I'm come going up in here at an angle. If I'd have done other holes over here, they would be moving in this direction. We don't want that. We want to mirror these, right? So we want to go ahead and have them at the opposite angle, so we need to mirror it. So if we go back to our 3D model, and um, we're going to use the go to pattern, go to mirror, click on mirror. So we need to pick the features, and that is the, uh, that extrusion right there. And then we're going to go to mirror plane, and so we'll open our origin up again, and we will pick. We will pick the plane that mirrors that feature, and that is the plane there. Hit OK, and it will punch the two holes um, back opposite. And so there, we have used our plane. Um, we started with the plane. We did it at an angle. We offset it, and then we use that to drive all the four holes we're going to punch into our body. And we can do the same thing if we want to go put a uh, neck, right? We want to put the neck on the body. Um, so we could just go in, we can find the, the plane that we like, 
all right, which is probably going to be this one. And we're probably going to pick that as an axis. So we'll just say plane, angle to plane around an edge. We're going to say this plane around this edge. Again, we're 90 degrees there. Let's say 15. If we look at it from this side, hmm, if I want to, if I want a neck to come out this way, maybe 15 is not quite enough, so we'll do 20. That's looking a lot better. Now you'll notice that my plane is way down here. Okay, so what all we need to do is we need to offset it again. So we'll do offset from plane. Go ahead and pick that plane, and then we can move this up to where we want it. And then we can use that to drive our cut at an angle. So if we're going to put it down here at the end, we'll move it up here where it's just barely out of the of the item. And then now we have the two those two planes. And this one we're now done with. We can't delete it because it would also delete this one. This one we're now done with, but we can turn the visibility off so it doesn't confuse us. And then now we can go in and go ahead and, oops, got to do a sketch so we can draw our sketch on that. Put our circle in. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fully define it. I'll, I'll keep the video short. Um, but we'll do a little three inch uh, cut there. We'll finish this cut. I don't have it I don't have it fully defined. We'll hit extrude. We'll go ahead and cut it. We'll say five inches down. We'll hit OK and then we can go ahead and turn the visibility off on that so now we have if we look at this all right we have uh, the neck cut at an angle and then if we spin this around to the back we have the two legs at an angle all right so hopefully that will help